Welcome back to Behind the Box. Today we're taking a look at Yummy Yummy Pancake, releasing later this month at Essen. So this has been sent to us by Sweet Lemon Publishing. So full disclosure, we've not paid for the game, but this won't impact our opinions on the game. As usual, we'll give you our overview, positives and negatives, and then we'll give you our final thoughts. So Yummy Yummy Pancake is a memory game for two to four players ages six and up. Plays in about 15 minutes or so. So you'll get a bunch of pancakes, of five different varieties and a pan. Every round there's a chef and the chef will pick eight pancakes to put face up in the pan for everyone to memorize. Then they'll try and flip as many pancakes as they can face down in the pan. Any that fall out, they then place back in the pan face up. You have to have at least two pancakes face down in the pan in order to keep playing. So then the chef selects one of the pancakes, looking at it to see what variety it is, and then gives it to another player so that they can guess what the variety is. If they guess right, they get to keep the pancake. If they guess wrong, the pancake goes back to the chef. The chef can then decide whether or not they want to keep giving out pancakes to the other players, and if they want to stop, then they just pass the pan to the person on their left who's then going to be the chef next. And that person just fills the pan back up to eight put them all face up, and you just continue the round that way. Now the first player to get 12 pancakes wins. So, first positive, the frying pan. <laughs> it is such a cool component it in the awesome. game. It is awesome. And it is really fun to put the pancakes in and flip them. Mm -hmm. It's just such a fun, just enjoyable little thing to do, but really makes the game so much more, I think. It really makes it special. Yeah. I <laughs> I've never seen a frying pan in a game box before. <laughs> it's one of my favorite components, I think, out of all games. Yeah. It's just so good. It's, it is great. It's such a fun thing. And it, it's a really fun game for kids as well. Yeah. It's a great exercise of memory and of coordination because yeah. you're trying to flip those pancakes in the pan. It's Yeah. It's a little tricky as well because it's not super smooth. Like the inside's very smooth, but it's not really smooth to flip them yeah. and land them back in. It's, so It's harder than you think. <laughs> yeah. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, yeah. Also, the component quality is good. The frying pan's really nice. The actual pancakes themselves, they're also very nice. Yeah. They've got quite sturdy pieces, but they're not too hard that if it hits someone, it's going to hurt. And they're pretty cute, too. Each distinct from each other. Um, I think it's quite easy to tell the different fruits apart, or the, you know, in chocolate, in that case, not really fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, moving on to the negatives. The first one, it's loud. Yeah. It's pretty loud. Every time you do it as well, it will be loud. Each mm -hmm. time one of these lands in here, I'll just like very lightly touching it. You hear that? If they're crashing from a high distance and there's eight of them, mm -hmm. it makes a really loud noise. So again, if, you, if you've got kids that are sensitive ears or just don't like loud noises, it's not going to be yeah. a game you want to play with And them. don't play it when anyone's napping. No, definitely don't no. want to do that. <laughs> no. Um, the only other negative, really, was well, just with the uh, yeah, stickers. So yeah, the, the co component quality is good, don't get me wrong, but um, our stickers were peeling just a little bit. Yeah. So if you've got a kid that tends to pick at things, um, I would just recommend gluing that down uh, before you start playing. Yeah. Uh, on to final thoughts, then. I mean, it's a kid's game. You know, it, it's not for adults. It, it's not really for us. But if I was a kid, mm -hmm. this would be so much fun. Just the act of flipping oh, pancakes. Oh, yeah. I would, I would flip them all the time. Forget the rules. <laughs> I'm just flipping pancakes today. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a lot of fun. And it's just an enjoyable, lighthearted game. And it's a great exercise for kids with, you know, for memory and for... Uh, and for coordination. coordination. It yeah, really is absolutely. a fantastic thing. Um, would you recommend this game? I certainly would. You know, if you're a family with young children... Uh, I think it's I think it's great. I think everyone will enjoy it. It'll be a big hit. I agree. Yeah. So again, huge thank you to Sweet Lemon for sending us a copy of this game. If you do go check them out at Essen, um, have a look at this game. Tell us what you think. I'll leave all the links to the game and Sweet Lemon in our description as well mm -hmm. as our social media. But until the next video, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. You looking at the ladybug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just keep it down back there. <laughs> I completely forgot that I had a role to play in this. Oh, Lindsay. I'm sorry. You did a really good intro, I too. I know, I was really happy with you that. You nailed it, yeah. and I just ruined it by loving you too much. Thing.